hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel this is tim Layo and mom channel to all of our new subscribers we see you you're very welcome to all of our old subscribers thank you for always coming back watching us and then leaving our comments thank you so much we appreciate each and every one of you so today i want to go ahead and show you i know it's Christmas season and everybody is going to enjoy some chicken so today i want to show you how you can easily slaughter your chicken though i plan to do this with like a uh, live chicken so i can kill and show but then this is what i got okay for now so uh you want to start by taking off the wing that's if you are not adding the a lot of flesh to your wing okay so this is me i'm already cutting out the wing so what you want to do what you need actually is that is a very sharp knife like a very sharp one i do have a sharp knife but someone borrowed it and misplaced it so i'm left with this um, one i'm using bear with me so uh i went ahead and um slit the ties like you want to slit the ties out from the chest and the back so you want to break even like this yes this is a simple way to go about it now the ties is separated from the back and the chest so what you want to do is to finish up with that and set the uh, chest aside so you can just go ahead and cut this in two or in four but for the purpose of what i'm using this for which is small chops i'm going to get into a smaller bit like I'm doing now So now that you're done with the ties, you want to go ahead and pick up the chest and the back um, piece. Then you want to go and divide the back and the chest. So the reason why I personally do this is because I use the chest for something different, which is my samosa filling. Like when I get full chicken like this, I go ahead and use other parts that has bone for the normal frying chicken then i use the chest area where i don't have a lot of bone for the filling so you can see i'm just trying to separate the back from the chest actually this chicken has a little of highs because i got it last night and i went ahead and uh, freeze it so i can it can be fresh like you can see there's still blood on it that's what i want so i want i still want it fresh by the morning which is the morning i'm using it so i'm is is just something that comes out difficult because of the little eyes i have over there so you just want to separate the back from the chest yes that's exactly what you want to do so you can go ahead and cut the back the same way like how you want it if you want to use it full like this if you want to cut it in bits if you want to cut it in two however way you want it but this is just how you separate it and then the chest mostly i like giving it to my daughter because is non bony but she likes bone sometimes so <laughs> you never can tell so you can see how simple this is you see why you don't have to wait for a guard to be home before you kill the chicken for christmas so go ahead and do your thing okay it's simple yeah
so guys here is a bonus to this video i'm making some of you must have seen how i boil or cook my chicken i as in it's the most simple way like you anything i'm using is something you should already have i don't go ahead and use complicated and uh, spices i just use like the normal the usual okay so if you want to have tasty chicken keep watching so to have tasty chicken you don't really need all of the drama you don't need all of the ingredients in the market you don't need all of the colors that they sell for chicken or whatever you only need the basics so uh, watch i'm going to show you what i use and this chicken tastes really good the secret is that i don't add even a drop of water to my chicken when i'm cooking it and at the end of the day i end up with like almost a liter of water sometimes sometimes i end up with like just enough water you get so the water will be enough for you to cook whether your fried rice or your jollof rice you can still go ahead and cook it and it will be tasty so here are the basic ingredients i use for my chicken over there i'm getting my onion ready i'm cleaning it up so i'm just going to add the onion like i'm cutting it in smaller bits just so it gets cooked and soaked into the chicken you don't want it in big chunk because at the end of the day you won't even be needing it in your broth you are going to sieve out your broth if at all you are using it for any uh delicacy you are making so that's the onion already in i'm going to add some thyme no measurement for this okay just eyeball it and add as desire so i added some thyme according to how i want it i went ahead and add some curry powder yes you need curry powder and ginger and garlic this is like the secret to a good and tasty chicken ginger and garlic though i end, i added um, bay leaf and um, salt to this okay that was off calm i think so yeah i'm adding my seasoning powder yes i bought the seasoning powder no more cubes yeah so that's it that's basically all bay leaf is something i always have though sometimes i forget to use it but then once i remember i add it to the boiling chicken and then it just go together so that's all let me name them curry thyme ginger and garlic powder seasoning powder bay leaf and salt with some onions that's basically all like all of these ingredients is something that everyone have in their kitchen i didn't go ahead and add anything else okay so you just want to turn and turn like just stir it so that this whole thing will like mix up very well so as it cooks or as it steam up it's going to like soak in really good okay with this kind of method you don't even need to marinate your chicken marinating chicken is quite a a long process because when you want a chicken like fast you think oh because you didn't marinate it you can't get a tasty chicken that's a lie okay just go ahead and this chicken another secret about this is you are cooking it on a low heat okay you are not cooking it on a very high heat that way you get all your ingredients inside thank you guys after the struggle cutting that chicken my next location was a shop that sells good knife thank you for watching i love you all I know, go stop on a good set too. My light is never gonna.